Good morning. The question of the morning is, will the breakfast be any different? Will it be more like a series of Groundhog Days where we have round bacon and round fake eggs and sausage patties and muffins and bananas and cantaloupe and honeydew and maybe waffles, but the, the waffles, those waffles were actually quite tasty. They, they're reminiscent somewhat of a waffle house, less all of the waffle batter and grease smeared all over the countertops. That doesn't mean you need to be rooting kick me all night though. I wasn't kicking you. you were. I felt you. I know. I... What are you most excited about today? What are you excited about going to school? Yeah, so excited. Today your first I day? I need to get my hair done though. No, you should leave your hair like that. No. London, are you excited about going to school? Don't move. You are? Oh my gosh. Why well, I should be in eighth grade because I'm eight? No, you can't. So. That's not allowed. Huh. Alright, we should probably go get breakfast soon. No. Ah, school. No. Everybody loves starting school. <laughs> it's even more enjoyable though when you're not living in your house and you don't have all of your stuff, and you're somewhat in a little bit of a disarray to the point where you feel like you should pop a Xanax once an hour. Well, let's go see what's for breakfast today, then. Oh, look at that, more round bacon and more round sausage patties. What's it gonna be? Round bacon again? <laughs> Maybe an apple? Maybe some, maybe some honeydew? Where? Oh, just a little bit of honeydew. Where is it? No, seriously, it, just take it out. It's right behind me. Look at that, that looks delicious. Is that honeydew? It looks like a honeydew. Yeah? Oh, a little bit of honeydew. <laughs> Off we go into the wild blue yonder, walking down the same hall, having nearly the same breakfast that we did on day one. Not quite Groundhog Day, but I could almost do a recap of my first video. But I shan't. I shall save you and spare you from that pain and anguish. But today's going to be an even more amazing day because I'm actually going to have some time to be able to work and be productive so that the world can continue on steadfastly. We're making our ascent to the summit and the kids keep asking me if we're taking them to school or if somebody's going to pick them up. We're trying to keep things as copacetic as possible. Let's keep things streamlined. Yeah, we're not living there, but just when you're done with school, you just go straight to the house. And poor Ford, he has more anxiety than somebody that's severely overdosed on tetrahydrocannabinol. Here's to hoping that today is a little bit different. Less people coming by the home, contractors, etc., that need my advice or whatever. Like I said, we're trying to keep things business as usual. There's London getting on the bus. She's super excited. You know it's a plus when you've had a house fire and you have a wonderfully disabled child with cerebral palsy and some autistic qualities it's a big thumbs up when they're excited to go to school after the summer especially since our lives have been a little bit turned upside down who knows maybe she thinks we're on vacation which is a huge plus so far so good guess it's back to work i think i used a little more energy yesterday than i planned hoping the sun comes up soon i actually tried one of these rice crispy treat i don't even know how old it is but well, they're definitely not smoke proof because I tried eating one and it smelled and tasted pretty smoky. Yeah, there we are. My watch is dead. I don't know what time it is. I think it's four or five o'clock. So I'm gonna end the day on a high note, take the Volkswagen for a little for a little spin because I want to. If you've never driven an old Volkswagen, I can't explain what is so great about it, but there's something that's just somewhat 
magical in a lot of ways. It's, it's pretty special, that's all. So, hopefully, tomorrow, they will start uh, pulling all the floor out, which is a good thing. And then, they're just waiting on Layton City for a building permit, so they can get started with the really nitty gritty stuff, with the structural supports and all that goodness. I'm gonna head home, not to my real house, but to my pretend house, where my real family is. Riding along in my automobile, doo -doo -doo -doo. Cause that's what I'm doing, I'm shifting with my left hand, cause that's how I roll, because I can. I can shift with my left hand if I want. It takes a lot of skill to be able to shift with your left hand, let me just tell you. Even if you're left-handed, it takes skill to shift with your left hand. Well, there you have it. I honestly don't have anything else to say. I'm just freaking tired. I want to go sleep for like 20 hours. I'm tired of people coming over to the house and asking me questions. I just want it to be over. I don't care about all the bacon and all the sausage. I've had enough round bacon to last a lifetime. Oh my gosh, just effing work. This thing looks like it's from the Terminator. Terminator 1, Terminator 2. It seems really outdated. It's not going to let me in.